Alrighty guys, what's going on? Linky here, and in today's video we're going to be discussing Pokemon Brilliant Diamond and Shining Pearl and Legends Arceus, and the concerning lack of new information, footage, gameplay, the whole sort that we've gotten since February. It is now August, and we have seen no new trailers for this game, we have seen no new real information revealed about these titles, except for what we saw in the original release, even though we have gotten some little drips here and there of new information, it hasn't built up to anything. We've now gone months with no new information. The Pokemon social media accounts last month were celebrating Sinnoh as the big celebratory thing of the month, talking about all of the old Sinnoh games, Pokemon Diamond, Pearl, Platinum, talking about the anime, the trading cards, the whole sort, and not once in that month did we see anything new for the games that are coming out this year that take place in the Sinnoh region. It's really strange. Let's talk about it. There was an expectation months ago that we were going to get new information, new footage for Pokemon Brilliant Diamond and Shining Pearl and for Legends Arceus. I want to focus specifically on Brilliant Diamond and Shining Pearl, however, because I think Legends Arceus is more of a wild card. It's more of a game that has the potential to be released in different ways, possibly in a Nintendo Direct come September, which I think a lot of people are expecting to happen. And it would be a good time to blow the game out, especially with it releasing in January. Because barring any changes to the release schedule, November is when Pokemon Brilliant Diamond and Shining Pearl are coming out. The reveal was back in February. We got a trailer, we got some basic information, we knew who the developer was, we knew the relationship with Game Freak and how involved they were going to be, and that's pretty much it. We've seen that big blowout trailer, we had a little bit of footage in the Switch OLED reveal, which was last month, that's it. Before we go ahead with the rest of the video, I just wanted to mention that the vast majority of you guys who are watching these videos are not yet subscribed to the channel. Now, you can fix that by hitting that red subscribe button down below. It does a ton to support me. It does a ton to tell me what kind of videos you guys want to see in the future. And it's just really nice to see the channel growing. So if you have not subscribed, be sure to fix that. It's free. You can unsubscribe at any time. And let's get right back into the discussion. We went through June, the busiest cycle usually for video games, and when Nintendo and Pokemon usually give us new information, and we got nothing of substance. We got absolutely zero information on Pokemon Brilliant Diamond and Shining Pearl. We didn't get a new trailer, we didn't get new gameplay revealed, we didn't get a, uh, a Nintendo Treehouse preview at E3, we didn't see a Nintendo Presents slash Nintendo Direct, we saw nothing. The reveal of Pokemon Unite came in July, and we had no kind of direct or present talking about that reveal with maybe a trailer for BDSP included. We saw none of that. We've gone months with absolutely no new footage, and when you're looking at the track record of Game Freak, this is really strange. Game Freak and the Pokemon company specifically are the type of devs to where they want to hype up their games as much as possible before release. With Pokemon Omega Ruby and Alpha Sapphire, we were getting trailers every couple weeks detailing some new feature, some new location, some music, some mega evolutions, anything of the sort that are going to be in this new game. For Pokemon Sun and Moon, we got the same thing. For Ultra Sun and Ultra Moon, even though we had a delayed reveal, I think the reveal for Ultra Sun and Ultra Moon was the end of May, the beginning of June of that year, we still got new information constantly about Ultra Beasts, about changes from the base game to these new games, about uh, the way we were going to be interacting with new characters, new villains, how Necrozma fit into the whole thing. The reveal cycle was very consistent, and it fit with what we had always seen from Game Freak. It was just, it was constant. February is when we got the first and only trailer for Pokemon Brilliant Diamond and Shining Pearl. We know that Ilka has been up to some polishing and some changes since then, but that doesn't mean you go radio silent and show us nothing. We've still gotten Pokemon reveals and new Pokemon information for other games, Unite specifically. We've heard rumors about Pokemon and other mediums. There's been a recent rumor that Pokemon is going to be getting a live action Netflix series. So Pokemon is still in the cultural zeitgeist. It's still in the news on a daily basis. But for whatever reason, it feels as if everybody who's official and works with Pokemon has completely forgotten that there are brand new video games, which are remakes of the most popular generation of the series' history, that are coming this year. They're coming soon. It's August. September and October are the next two months coming up on the calendar, if you pay attention to, you know, time. And after that, we have release month. What is going on behind the scenes at the Pokemon company that we have gotten nothing of substance about these games? 
it leads to a lot of interesting conclusions, and it might tell us a lot about the mindset of where Pokemon's at right now. We know that with the release cycle for Pokemon Sword and Shield, the constantly spurring and sputtering out of new information actually came down to hurt Game Freak. It made their PR image look terrible. With new information, there was more hate, there was more public controversy, there was more controversy on social media, and there was more outcry about the concern for Sword and Shield and about the future of Pokemon. The release cycle for Sword and Shield created a ton of resentment within the community, and it divided members of the community in a way that we had never seen before. So there is a chance that it caused Game Freak and it caused the marketing part of the Pokemon company to reevaluate how they were going to handle these games. They might still come out on time, I think they will, and they might come out and there might be things we didn't expect to see, but for whatever reason, we're not getting trailers or new information for them. It's very strange. It's very weird that this is how we're going, and it really spurs a lot of communication issues about the Pokemon company to be discussed among YouTube channels like myself, which cover news. This is a mistake. There is something to be said for that previous game releases, specifically Sword and Shield and Ultra Sun and Ultra Moon, were too much. It was too much news too often. They were giving us, it wasn't a drip feed, it was the opposite. It was a tsunami of new information constantly. You can fairly critique that and say, we should get less news. That's fine. But radio silence is the complete opposite of what we were getting with those release cycles. We're getting nothing. The biggest bit of news since February is that we saw the game again. We saw a Buizel in the Switch OLED trailer. I did a whole video talking about that. It's all we've seen. It's all the information we've gotten. I've gotten some comments from some people saying, oh, you shouldn't cover these little things. Well, that's all we've got to talk about. It is incredibly strange that it is the first week of August. There are only three months until the reveal and release, excuse me, of Pokemon Brilliant Diamond and Shining Pearl, and we haven't seen anything new. And there is no indication except for, you know, the time that we are at that makes us think we're due for a trailer. If you went by what they've done so far in this release cycle, we're not gonna get a trailer. We might get one in September, you know, when we have that Pokemon, you know, need it with two months out from a release with a Nintendo Direct happening, we could see it then. But there's nothing to make us think that imminently, like tomorrow at 9 a.m., usually when they drop trailers, 9 a.m. Eastern, we're gonna see new Pokemon footage. Now listen, I certainly hope it happens. I'm sure the community certainly hopes that we're going to see this trailer come soon, but there's nothing for us to think it's coming. And that's a really poor communication by Game Freak, by the Pokemon company, and by Ilka, and whoever in the marketing side of the Pokemon company makes these decisions. This is one of Nintendo's biggest releases of the year. This game is going to sell. This game is on Switch. This game is coming after Sword and Shield, which were commercially incredibly successful and a DLC that was not only commercially successful but based on fan reaction was also successful and to follow that up with zero information it's really strange it's an about face from what they were doing with previous game releases that is not necessary and really shouldn't have happened with that being said I would love to hear what you guys think are you concerned with the fact that we've gotten no new information for these games do you think they have a bigger plan that they're not telling us about or have they run into a snag behind the scenes and is some bad information, some bad news coming that the Pokemon community is not going to be happy about? With that being said, I've been Linky and we'll see you all in the next video. Peace out.